Hi guys, let's look at how to create a palm tree logo in Affinity Designer. A straightforward little tutorial. What you will learn. In the following tutorial you will learn how to create a palm tree logo in Affinity Designer. With a simple blend and some basic masking techniques you will learn how to create a colourful background for your palm tree vector logo. Using basic vector shape building techniques Along with some special effects, you will learn how to create the palm outline. For the final touch, you will learn how to add a simple piece of text for your topical logo. You'll need the following resource in order to complete this palm tree in a circle logo. That's the folders font. It's a font called folders. And you can see it there where palm resort's written. Or you could use something similar if you already have it available. That font's available from Envato, and if you see the description, you'll see the link. Now, how to create a new document and set up a grid. Start with creating a new document. <clears throat> now, I've picked, as you can see, a web document there, SVGA 800 by 600, 4 by 3 ratio. But I've changed that, as you can see on the right, to 850 by 850 pixels. That's the width and the height. Select RGB for the colour mode and set the <coughs> DPI to 72. Then click Create Document. Fairly straightforward. Now, enable the grid view, view show grid, and the snap to grid, view snapping manager, snap to grid. You will need a grid every five pixels, so simply go to view, grid, axis, and grid and axis manager and enter 5 in the grid line every box and 1 in the divisions box. It will make your work easier. And of course you turn that off later on. Now the background. Start by selecting the rectangle tool from your toolbar and either click on your artboard or hold down the shift key as you click and drag to create an 850 by 850 pixel square. Fill this shape with the RGB values of 0, 167 and 157 and make sure that it stays selected and focus on the control panel. Set the alignment to horizontal align and vertical align. Now you'll see the lines come up there. <coughs> this shape will serve as the background for your palm tree. Now as I mentioned later on, if you really want to do this in pure vectors, then you should Select the pen tool at the moment and draw a square that's 850 pixels square. That's around the boundaries there. And select the fill colour to be that. That will make a pure vector background. Or you just take your background that you've made with the, um, with the rectangle tool and convert it to curves. Too easy. Now switch to the ellipse tool and use it to create a 300 pixel circle. Fill this new shape with white and use again the horizontal align and vertical align center buttons to center it. In other words, drag it to the center of both horizontal and vertical. And you can see the red and the green lines there indicating because snapping is on, and you can see that up the top there, snapping is on so the red and green lines will show as you move it about. You don't actually have vertical and horizontal align buttons to center it. You've got to drag it into shape. But it sounds good to say it. <laughs> Reselect the rectangle tool and create a 300 by 600 pixel, uh, sorry, 300 by 60 pixel shape and fill it with RGB values of 255, 222 and 23 and align it with the top edge of your circle as shown below. Using the same tool create a second 300 by 60 pixel shape fill it with RGB 255, 107 and 49 and align it with the bottom edge of your circle. So you've got yellow at the top, orange at the bottom. Copy and paste three more exactly the same to fill the space between. So you've got one, two, three shapes in between. Now we're going to apply a gradient to each. 
They'll fit in there nicely if you copy and paste them because they're all exactly the same. Select each rectangle in turn and apply a linear gradient vertically in each, stepping up the depth of colour in each one as you move from darker at the top to lighter in the bottom until all look similar to the image on the right. And you can see that there, it gives it an odd lattice effect. Darker at the top, lighter at the bottom, except for the top and the bottom ones. Experiment with this until you're satisfied with the colour gradient, but you want that bright yellow to dark orange graduation. That's what we're looking for. Now, go back to the Layers panel and group the coloured layers you last made, then drag the group into the white circle so it acts as a mask. It will now form the circle you want. Now, you can't see the white square on the side of that anymore because you've dragged the circle into it. So you've got the white square you had. Sorry, you've got the white circle that you had and the yellow squares above it. You drag group those so they're all one group, easy to drag. Drag them down into the white circle and it masks it to that shape. Sorry about the confusion there, but I'm sure you'll be familiar with that. Grab the rectangle tool and create a 300 by 80 pixel shape. Fill this new shape with white, 255, 255, 255. Place it as shown, then convert the rectangle to a curve. That's important. Now select the node tool and place five nodes along the top edge of the white rectangle. Next, Draw each node up slightly or down slightly, watching the grid pattern in enlarged mode to make sure they are all aligned. That's why your grid's there. Now, you, if you haven't got rounded selected for the nodes, go up to the node tool, context toolbar and the top, and with each node in turn selected, click on round. Otherwise you'll have pointy waves and you want rounded waves. When you're happy, select each node and select smooth from the toolbar. That smooths them into waves, as I was just saying, not rounded, <laughs> smooth. When you're happy, save your work. Switch to the ellipse tool and create a 330 pixel circle. Fill this new shape with a white and don't forget to center it. Select this circle along with the right rectangle and click intersect in the top toolbar. You'll see that up there, it's one of the geometry um, tools. With intersect selected, your image now just shows the little island of waves. Now, creating the palm tree. To start, draw out an ellipse of 150 by 70 pixels in size in white. Just place it in the green area somewhere. Select Convert to Curves. Now, select the Node tool and reshape it to suit as shown. It sort of looks a little bit like an aeroplane wing side on. Using the pen tool, create an oblique path as shown in the following image. Add a five point stroke for this path. Pick a random colour. Create four flyouts for the edges as shown. And you can see over the right hand side, select the group of black shapes along with the white ones. So we've got one, two, three, four black curves there and the white curve that looks like an aeroplane wing there. Once you've got those selected, click on the subtract button from the geometry panel to create your first palm tree leaf and you can see how that works. You've now got sort of a palm tree leaf with the little serrations in it. You can see your geometry toolbar up the top there. That's the same place as the previous one was. Now, 
Place your leaf, sh leaf shape as shown in the following image and focus on the transform panel. Copy the leaf and paste it. You have a new layer now as well. Move the size to about 80%. Set the angle to minus 45 degrees. Don't forget to check the middle right reference point highlighted down there before you click OK. Now make two more copies and adjust as shown. So you've got the original leaf showing on the left hand side. Behind it are two more leaves that have been aligned to various degrees of angle and reduced in size so that they appear sort of behind the main leaf. Now finally we've got another leaf in there. Copy and paste another leaf from the first one. This time again scale it to about 80%. Set the angle to minus 35 and don't forget to check the middle left reference point highlighted before you click OK. And you don't actually have to click OK, you just move it around. But you can see the angles there, and you move that leaf. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five palm tree leaves there. You might have to fiddle around to get those right, but that's OK. Just take your time with that. It's kind of an important part of the whole design. Now next, using the pen tool, create a 140 pixel vertical path and place it as shown in the following in the image. Add a 20 pixel width for this at the bottom and make it white. So you can see it's narrower at the top and wide at the bottom. And you do that, of course, with the node tool. Having created it with the pen tool, you can then move it with the node tool. With your vertical path still selected, place a node on both vertical strokes about halfway. Make sure that the node tool is selected and drag to about a 30 degree arc. Apply the smooth curve option to both nodes so that your palm tree has a bend in it. And that's what you want. You don't want the old straight up and down thing. Never seen the like of it in my life. <laughs> Apply the smooth curve option to both nodes and that will round that off nicely. Now we're nearly there. Grab the type tool from your toolbar. Select the folders font in this case and set the size to 70 and then click on your board and type palm resort. Make it white. Now there we go. Now I have guides turned on and all layers converted to curves where necessary. If you want to make sure things like the green background are pure vector, I mentioned before, then use the pen tool and fill to draw the rectangle and fill it with the green. Easy to do, but the rectangle tool is just as easy. The final touch. Using the pen tool, create a curvy path below your text as shown in the following image. Add an 8 point stroke for this path and make it white. You can adjust it, move it around a little bit and get it just right. With this final touch, your modern palm logo is complete. That's amazing. How easy was that? Congratulations, you're done. Here's how your palm tree in a circle logo should look. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and can apply these techniques in your future tropical brand projects. Feel free to adjust the final palm tree design and make it your own. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or click on the thumbs up to like.